Here is our second video on combining hybridization with free electron pairs. In this case, we're going to have two free electron pairs. In the case of, high, uh, of uh, water, H2O, we have an oxygen atom that has six free electrons, six valence electrons, I should say. They're not free, they're valence electrons in the valence shell. And then, of course, with two hydrogen atoms that combine into water. And typically, that's what we see in the Lewis structure. We see an oxygen with two hydrogens sticking out. The bond angle here is about 104.5 degrees. And then we have the two free electron pairs. And so we tend to think that this is in a planar shape, but not at all. Because what happens is the, the uh, 2s orbital and the 3 2p orbitals together form a hybridization set of orbitals called the sp3 orbitals. And as we know, sp3 forms a tetrahedral shape. And so what happens is that that the two of the orbitals will come out here at 140, 104.5 degree angle, 104.5 degrees. Normally, tetrahedral shapes, of course, the bond angles are 109.5, but because the extra repulsive force of these two free electrons and those two free electrons, it pushes the hydrogens a little bit closer together down to an angle of 104.5 degrees. But the orbitals still will stick out in the four directions, one coming out in this direction, slightly above the xy plane. One coming out in this direction, again, slightly below the xy plane. And then we have a thir third orbital, which is shaped the same as these other two orbitals, but with two electrons in them, like so. And therefore, there will be no bonding taking place with this orbital. But all three of them will be pushed down from the plane, forming that base of the tetrahedral. And then the fourth orbital will stick straight up in the z direction, also filled with two electrons and not able to make a bond. So the only two places where this can then bond would be right here and right here because there's only one electron in those orbitals which will then combine with the hydrogens over here and there and also share that one electron that the hydrogen can contribute to the bond and so that's what it will look like. Here I have a little example of that. Again, we have this tetrahedral shape. Notice that two of the hybrid orbitals or hybridized orbitals, they form bonds with the hydrogens. The third one is filled with two electrons with one free pair of electrons, so there's no room for bonding there. And on the fourth location here, the second set of two free electrons also is part of that hybridized orbital. But again, that orbital is filled, doesn't make a bond. But this is what water looks like. Normally, we tend to think of water as being simply the oxygen with the two hydrogens, but we tend to forget that there's two orbitals there that are filled with electrons, two free electron pairs, which cause the shape of the, of the molecule to look exactly the way it does with a bond angle of 104.5 degrees. Anyway, there you can see that there's still hybridization taking place. The shape of the original orbitals, the 2s orbital and the 3 2p orbitals are changed to a set of four sp3 orbitals that are then pushed in a tetrahedral shape. Only two of them make bonds, the other two are filled with a pair of free, free electrons, therefore no longer able to bond. And there's the physical structure of a water molecule, hybridization with two free electron pairs.